Hey, stars from 13 stars, here we are again for our weekly discussion of the one in the window. Today, we, we are not going to have a discussion. I refuse myself to have a discussion because today I would like to be Anna Fox Shrink. She's, she's needing a shrink so bad. Dr. Fielding is not doing his job. These protagonists, main characters, is out of her mind. I have to tell you that. Our discussion will go until chapter uh, 53. Am I right? 63? 63! Well, to begin with, Anna, you are hosting an ex-prisoner in your basement, okay? You have the right to be scared. And now you are listening to weird noises in your house. I would be listening to all the noises in my house if I had been hosting an ex-prisoner, Anna. So don't be afraid. Secondly, she figured out that the earrings that she saw on the side table in his room, David's room, I mean, is the same earring that she saw on Jane Fox ears, but not this current Jane Fox, her Jane Fox, the Jane Fox that she swears existed and ceased to exist after being stabbed. OMG, how can she live with this guy <laughs> in the basement? I couldn't. I definitely couldn't. Well, thirdly, Anna Fox decides to fish Alistair's previous life, and she calls his uh, ex-company in Boston. She does it, okay, and she talks to Alex, and she introduces herself as Alex. Alex talking to Alex, okay? Alex doesn't give a lot of information in his description about Jane Russell's, the wife's uh, physical descriptions is like uh, vague because both of them light skin and dark hair. So she doesn't really know who Alex was talking about when he saw the picture. Well, nice attempt, Anna. I clap my hands for you. Fourth attempt of uh, figuring out what was going on across the park in the Russell's house. She left home. Yeah, she is. Uh, she has a compted. She's a compted from agoraphobia. She gets the umbrella. I don't have an umbrella at home. That's why I don't have one here. Okay. She gets the umbrella. She leaves home and she follows Jane Russell, the current one, to the cafe. She wants to talk to her so bad that she does it, leaving her door open. This is nice to mention. Okay. She follows her there, she went to the cafe, and they, they have, both of them, okay? Both uh, Jane Fox, the current one, and Anna. Jane Fox, no, Jane Russell and Anna Fox, they have a, a little argument. Uh, Jane saying that, oh, you are out of her, your mind because you take pills and you are drunk, and Anna replying, and you are not the real Jane Fox, okay? You are an usurper. And... They have this discussion, okay? And the Takeda boy called Nick uh, saves Anna's life when he took her home. By the door of her house, when they are about to arrive, she meets uh, Ethan. Ethan ends the, the moment of taking Anna back home, okay? She's now surrounded by teenagers, okay? Uh, and he takes her home, asking her, what were you doing out? You shouldn't be out. Very bossy, this guy, for 16 or 17, I don't remember, year old guy. Well, the fact is, we don't have any further information about the accident, okay, uh, among Anna, Ed, and Olivia. We had some developments uh, in the course of the... Uh, the meeting that the Russells and Anna are having, okay, Anna tried to fish something, but she got nowhere, okay, and that's it, our discussion today finishes here, but I have some questions to be raised in your mind, like, why Alistair, that he had everything all set to have a job transference, a company transference to New York, why did he quit the job? 
Why did he separate family and work? Something went on in this family, okay? Why did he do it? Alex couldn't explain. Anna couldn't understand. And there is a question mark in this in this matter because it's weird. He's a nice worker, okay? Alex said that he's a nice worker. Nothing that uh, puts him in charge, okay? But he left the work. He's working in a different company and he's living in New York. What happened? There is something going on in this family, okay? Maybe next week in our next discussion, we are going to figure out, okay? See you next week, guys. Hope it, my eyes are better, okay? Here I am, bad eyes. That's it. See you, my stars.